everybody, my name's John, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are doing a video on RC jumps. This is one that you may have seen the video that I uploaded yesterday or two days ago uh, that showed this in action. Worked very well, except for you can see that we had a few impacts at the front here. Uh, which wasn't great, but it held up very well and it's still very strong. Some of the jumps, I mean like here, you can't see unless I pull this. This is a washing line. I managed to jump the RC car over this washing line with this particular ramp. Uh, there are different types you can do. If you were to do it a lot straighter, it would jump straighter. Um, on the one that I'm gonna make now, I'm deliberately gonna make it a lot more curved because then that in theory should make the car flip like so. I don't know. But I also wanted to just bring this box as well because this is a bog standard box that everybody else has. The one that I used to make this one was one of the, like the Ikea type boxes, but I wanted to show you how I did that as well. So that's what we're aiming for. Let's see if we can do it. Now this is a standard box that everybody has. If you were to take a slice down that side and a slice down that side like I have, opens it up like that. Now. I'm just bending it that way for now just to show you. Reinforce it, bit of tape everywhere, fold that one down. It's really that simple. What I would do is cut along these edges uh, so that you could put some tape sort of up the edge, along and down, and that will also help reinforce this part here. But I'm not working on this one now. Depends on how long this video is gonna take to do that. But my point is you can make it with pretty much any box. So, I know this looks complicated, and it is, but I just have to remember how I did it yesterday. That was like that. Okay, we shall get started. Don't be frightened. It's not gonna cost a lot of money to do this. You've probably got boxes at home. I'm pretty sure you've got tape and you've got scissors and a knife. What I will say is on this one, you can see I went to town on the tape because I knew that we were going down to uh, an area that had lots of sand and mud and whatnot, so I went a bit crazy with tape on that one. So. It's not going to get frustrating, is it? It doesn't have to look pretty, it has to be practical. Lost my scissors already. to me squinting a little bit it's due to it being a bit sunny up here and on our roof we've got a lot of white walls around so I'm getting that bit I'm trying to hurry before that sun hits me because then it's gonna get hot okay already you can see what I'm going for so I need to cut these pieces off Now you can obviously like what I did on the uh, on the smaller box move the flap down to reinforce however I found that with that one by folding it this way it gave it a lot of support on the rear so if you do have the extra flap at the back that's long enough I suggest you do that because it does help a lot. Now 
again, it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it's practical. And at the end of the day, that's much more important. This to curve a little bit easier, being uh, the type of cardboard it is. Uh, that's the best way to show you. Edge of a table, and as you pull it down, see how you can sort of force the curve upon it. The humidity level here at the minute is high and it's warm. Don't do it all the way to the end, not yet anyway. So you see how we've got the curve on it? Now we're going to curve it. How's that look? That didn't take long, did it? So, what angle do we have on that now versus the old one? I reckon a little bit more. afterwards that one can be taped along there just to give it a lot of reinforcement. I'm just going to use the back of the knife to just score along this so I can see where the curve is. You can see we have a curve along there. The reason for that is this is how I'm going to reinforce the jump. See how the tape is going to be giving it a little bit of reinforcement. In this instance, the more tape, the better.
one jump with a more acute angle. We will test that one afterwards. While I'm here, I will just do the basic one to show you guys. Make sure that it's got some sort of strength along here as well. Obviously use a slightly bigger box. underneath and back up just to give it that little bit of strength there but something like that so you get the idea excellent okay we will get the rc cars on the camera set up and see how high and whether we can actually cause one of them to flip in the air see you soon this is going to be the first attempt of the new jump sorry you're going to drive or me okay. let's see how it goes you're in for this one right Ready. Oh! <laughs> Out. Right. Try that one again. Attempt number two. Attempt number two. It's not sounding very healthy, is it? I'll try to control it. Try and control it in the air. Full speed. <laughs> Maybe I should aim for the ramp. Aim for the ramp. Full speed. I already broke the ramp. Go! Oh, we're aiming to go over the top. Move it back a bit. You have to go over that washing line. Okay. So it is just the full speed. Oh, that car's not sounding healthy. Go! Come on, Colleen, you've got to do it. Thank you. 
At least you hit it. Yeah. My turn. Oh, that sounds so bad. We have to fix that. Sounding very healthy, we need to change to the red one. clearly see that the first ramp we've got just sort of launches it up. The one I just made is trying to flip it. Second. You can see the difference with not having as much tape on this one as on that one. So I'm definitely going to reinforce this one. In fact, I'm going to do it now. As you can see, we went to town on the tape. Let's see if it helps. Test number one. You go for it, Colin. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. We have a failure. Oops. Did it bend? I th no, I think it's that thing that popped out again. We'll get this repaired and we'll be back. We're back and it turned out that it was part C 
that failed again. So we've just replaced part C and it seems fine. Let's see if we can break it again. Go. You are clear to jump. I think I'm going to try. One more. One more then. One more. Yeah, just, just Can you stop wrecking it? <laughs> this is your last chance, Colin. Come on! <laughs> just one more. <laughs> He's wrecking it! <laughs> we just rebuilt it! You haven't jumped once! keeps on falling out a lot, doesn't it? Um, maybe I didn't quite finish it. Last time. Okay. Could you straighten up the jump and I'll give it a wang? See if, if I'm capable of aiming. <laughs> you don't seem to be able to aim, Colin. <laughs> Should we do it so that we can get a longer run up, do you reckon? With what? Yeah. Let's go first. Further? Yeah! Let's have a proper run up. Let me just reset the camera focuses so we make sure that we're in. I try one time. No, you've already wrecked it 50 times. I have no faith that you're not wrecking it again. I'll hit it this time. Do you not like that car? Jump! You were going two kilometers an hour and you managed to hit the side! I was trying to do the control. Can I go full swing? I'm never teaching my son to drive a real car. No, I'm taking over. You're gonna wreck the jump. Come on, we've got to make this work. Oh. 
There you go. We've con con conclusively proved that a jump with this angle will wreck your car. horn so bugs me okay we've had it fail for the third time now and all it is is that same hold on this is the other side no. yeah it's been that side isn't it no. no okay it's been the same side all the way along uh, so basically it's the same problem as before the little back plate here on the inside has come loose so every time it's landing now it's not this side that's breaking it is that side so that's easy to fix, we'll take it apart, repair it, and by the sounds of it, we're gonna have to take the other one apart because that's sounding bad right now. Uh, I assume it's something to do with the gearbox. Sorry about the horn sounds there. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, do so as well, and uh, hit the little notification bell for future videos. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.